Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy Earl Ramsey, aka Ram. It's your boy Marvin Bagley the third, aka MB35, and welcome to episode two. Halfway decent pod. Today our special guest is our special host. You feel me? That's good. So we'll be talking about all the hot, spicy stuff out there. First, we're gonna dive deep into our relationship, you know, going back to the, you know, to the beginning a little bit. Um, For sure. And then we're gonna gonna talk about some of the stuff you got going on. So I think I've known you since sophomore year when I I moved to Cali. Yeah, you was Um, a young buck. You know, I was figuring out what school I was gonna go to, uh, moving around. And I ended up at Sierra Canyon, where right. your your brother, right, the, the right. Vero was at, and uh, you know that's how we connected, did some training, um, and we did a lot of working out, getting ready for the season. My first time out there, right. and um, I think that's where we kind of got to know each other, and, and going into my junior year, yeah, going into college, yeah. You know, I think that relationship is like it's, it's been there, and it was just building up since you know I, I first moved out there, so. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, that's my guy. That's my guy, man. We, we've been rocking for a minute now. Uh, we get a lot of work in, in the gym. And then when we out the gym, we kick it, laugh, have fun, joke. Facts, facts. And then we, now we linking up, doing the halfway, you know, decent pod. So, doing, something, um, doing something crazy. Yeah, trying to, trying, to, trying to do something a little different. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's a little bit of our history. Um, and yeah, and then now we here, now we yeah. here. You was what? How did you feel leaving Arizona for the first time, going to a whole another state? Let's dive a little bit into that. How did you feel doing that, bro? That was crazy for me. That was uh, a crazy time for me. Um, me growing up in Phoenix, <clears throat> you know, I've been, you know, an Arizona baby my whole life. So right. like growing up in Phoenix, going to high school, middle school, doing all the stuff out here, and then having to pick up and make a, a huge decision, pick up and make a, a, a big decision for my future right. to move to Cali right. and, and go to a school like Sierra Canyon and um, be at a school like that and, and go go perform out there. It was different. It was a, definitely a big transition for, facts, for me. <clears throat> but, you know, we did it. You know, I got it done. You know, I got used to everybody. I made a lot of new friends. I met right. a lot of great people out there that right, I still, right. you know, can can hit up to this day. So, um, it was a great move at the end of the day, and I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that I was able to make that decision and 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 go do that. Right, right, right. Well, now nah, you you did some you did some 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 rearranging <laughs> of the record book out there, man. You came out there and got busy. Um, nah, but soon to, after that, man, like you jumped right into college. You jumped yeah. to what what made you choose Duke over like you know Arizona, Arizona State, something like that. Like what made you go to Duke? It's crazy. It's it's at first it wasn't a set thing like it wasn't like I'm going to Duke. Right. I wanted to go to U of A. Ooh. That's where I really wanted to go. Um Ooh. but obviously I went to you know, went through the reclass and the, right. that that whole process and um when I finished that and got through with that I did it and they didn't have any more you know scholarship oh, yeah. for me in that class cuz yeah. you know it was just it was right. like a last minute thing so I right. couldn't you know make that move. But um Duke was always in the conversation, right? You know, just Coach K and you know the greatness that he was able to achieve with mm-hmm. the USA team, and mm-hmm. you know you see him every year in the tournament. You know they they won, right? The history right. over there, uh, all the all the stars that come out of here. Yeah, I it's get a it. lot. So when I was uh going through that whole recruiting process, it was like, like it was it was it was a tough decision, right? I can imagine. Um, but yeah, I think I, I went with the right decision. I, Facts, I, I, man. I, Facts. I know I went with what I what I thought would help me in the long run, and now it got me to where I'm at right now. So, right. um, so yeah, Duke was the uh, the right move, and I'm, right. and I'm you know I'm glad I like I went down there and made all, uh <clears throat> friends with a lot of those people, um, yeah. coaches, uh, teammates. I still talk to and are in the NBA now. That right. you always got that bond right. with. I always right. to call you know Duke home. Big Blue, know? yeah, yeah. Y'all, so, y'all, y'all got something popping. Absolutely. So that's that's uh that was a great experience. Um, yeah. It went by fast though, but you know I'm glad that I got a chance to go through it and see it and experience it. And like I said, I always can say I went there and I that, that's a place I could call home. Right, right. So is the brotherhood real? I want to know this. Oh, is yeah. the brotherhood yes. real? Absolutely, it's real. So you can call anybody that that went to Duke. I can't. I can't call it my only the teammates that I can. Okay, you know, okay. But, so but okay. this is the thing, though. Okay. This is the thing, though. Whenever we run into each other, right. And I know you went is all love. Okay, like, it's like okay, it ain't. It okay. ain't. I don't gotta like talk to you every day or have a a, a big relationship with you. But right. like, if I see you and I know 
you want to do it's easy that's there you go. love off top like it's not go. even like it's not even a question but right. i think it's more special when like i said you got teammates that you you went to war with right. there and you you went through the whole year they doing the same thing you doing facts, so facts. it's like now they in same the same grind, yeah. yeah so now they yeah. in the same spot that i'm in right and I, it just make that that bond you know stronger so yeah. um it, it just connects a little it, it hit a little different when you, when it comes to that being able right. to play with those guys that you can call brothers and you're on the same team with but brotherhood's for sure real Hey man, I be wondering. No, nah, I was thinking this right. cap. I be like, you got man, the people that don't be keeping in contact with each. What? Nah, I'm just you got I'm the people playing. that's out there that's that be hating on no yeah, brother. That, that, but that, that, it's, people, it's people hate real. greatness, man. We are gonna get into that a little bit too. People hate greatness, but um, Facts. but from my perspective, man, you was one of the best young guys I've seen uh, coming up, and it wasn't just because of your skill set. Like it was because you wanted to work. Yeah. And I'm talking about we would have six a.m. Uh, sessions at Run, LMU, getting in the back door. <laughs> Shout out to my people that let us in that. <laughs> but um, to the mount, to the to the little hill, to the, to the uh, Culver City stairs. Like yeah, you wasn't saying no to no work, and that's why I think our relationship got like it was because I'm a worker and I'm coming from a place of you know trying to make something happen. Yeah, and um, seeing that passion out of somebody that's already talented like you were. That was like, okay, I can respect that. You know, right. everybody I train, I only ask for you to be a hard worker. Yeah. I don't ask for you to be the most talented. So no, for um, sure. that was one of the big things that I was like, you know what? I like this kid. This kid going to be something special. And then, you know, you, you, Sierra Kane, we think of that like, uh, like Duke. Yeah. So you, you joining the, the, the brotherhood over there. <laughs> yeah, and I was facts. like, no, I got, I got his best interest Absolutely. no matter what. You feel me? So. So that was that's the beginning for me. All right. So one topic I'm gonna give you the opportunity to speak on yourself. Uh -huh. Um, that like that <laughs> like tweet, man. Bro, the world ended when you liked the tweet. Bro, Bro what? How, how at us? How at us, man? What's going on? Hey man, first of all, it's my Twitter, bro. <laughs> all right. I feel like you know what I'm saying? Like my Twitter. My Twitter. Yeah. It has my name on it. Right. I can like whatever I choose and please and whatever I feel like liking. You know right. what I mean? But right. Right. I mean that that just came from um, you know, just frustration and uh, I wouldn't even say frustration, just that built up fire. In right. Me, you know, watching I think I did it after uh watching Trey go for fifty Ooh -wee. in the playoffs and Ooh -wee. they winning. Like it just as a competitor, it just like Yeah. Like that just won't make me want to get to that, and like it just I need to be there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I I want to be there is bad. Yeah. So I think you know doing that. I mean, it was just a, uh, um, it was just one of those things where the the competitor came out of me. Like, right. Like I I I gotta be there. I gotta do whatever I gotta do to be in this position. Right. And and like I said before, seeing these guys do well. That's I'm happy for these guys right but you, gotta, you know what i'm saying but for need, me personally pay, yeah. my personal goals right. is the, where i'm trying to get to in my right. career right i gotta make it happen like right. i gotta i gotta do everything i gotta do to make it happen and i think you know liking that tweet that's what i was you know that's what i came from and, right. and uh you know it is what it is i mean people gonna take it and run with it right like I said, I, I don't. You didn't really, duck it, man. You know so I mean? you, you kind of, you kind of, you know. I'm, I'm here. I did it. Whatever. That's what it is. I yeah. mean, I, I did it. Um, like I said, it's my Twitter. I can like and do whatever I want on my account. Right. Uh, it's not like you know what I mean. I'm not. I'm not hurting nobody. I'm not harming right. nobody. But you already know. Like I said, how the fans take stuff and want to run with something and just everybody just hop on it and just talk right. about it. Um, but it was crazy though, because literally right after I did it, right. Not even two minutes. Dang. So they was, oh, did you see that? Oh my gosh. So people, did it, did it, did it, did it. like they watching my. I'm people like, watch that like that? I guess so, bro. Like, I mean, this. I'm going to change my Twitter to see if they say something. <laughs> hey, <I'm> so <laughs> they say something about my Twitter. You know what I'm bro, it's crazy, though. It's how, Dang, how fast sick, it was. Bro. But, um, but yeah, that's 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 yeah. all that is. I ain't, I mean, I, I'm just, like I said, I'm locked in on something and I got to go get it. Right. And that's, I, I, I got to get it. And that's that I, I that's one of the things like I said mm -hmm. I seen from when you was what fourteen years old yeah. fire 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 just I want I want to be great yeah you know what I'm saying and um 
you know, fans are gonna be fans, man. So it is. It, it, you know, it is what it is. For sure. Um, this is your job. This is your occupation. This is what you. You know, this is what Absolutely. you get up and do. I never see you cheat the process. So I. You know, the I mean, you're fans, not gonna get nothing out of like. What's the what's the what's the point of even doing yeah. it if you're gonna cheat it? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I always since Sierra Kane, yeah. since middle school. Like I never wanted to, to never skip. duck nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I never yeah. wanted to because if I somebody else gonna do what I'm not doing, Facts. and they gonna they gonna Facts. do what I chose to skip. Facts. So I always had that mindset of like, look, like if I'm gonna do this, if I'm gonna be a basketball player, right. and, and my goal is be one of the greatest b- basketball players that ever played this game. Right. I can't cheat the process. Cannot. I, it's not going. You know, it might not go how I want it, mm-hmm. which is how it is where I'm at in this situation now with the injuries and yeah. and and all of the the stuff that I can't control that happens. Right. It might you might go through that, but that don't change the overall like goal for me, and and that's that's to be one of the greatest basketball players to ever touch the floor. Tell me. And people think it's fun. People. People probably looking at this like laughing, joking. That's just sick. But you too, know when they do that. Like, like, are you it's sick? it's but crazy, bro. It but like, it that's how locked in on this I am, bro. They call poor George weak. That's 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 crazy. Paul that's George. terrible. Anywho, that's 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 od. Anywho. but that's not yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. But it's just like fans are gonna be fans. They're gonna be fans, and and um, I just know my goals don't change, even though I'm going through uh, this rough rough. It's patch. a rough road. It's this a rough, rough road. patch. Would you say this the roughest part? This the roughest a uh, 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 road that you've been on or stretch that you've been Absolutely. on in your basketball career? By far. Yeah. I've never been hurt yeah. playing basketball. I never missed yeah. the time that I miss um off away from the court from right. injury. Right. You know what I mean? I've right. always been healthy. I I've, I've always been able to to play, you know, throughout the right. season. Maybe miss up two, three games, but I'm back. Like it's nothing yeah. serious. But going through the injuries and and having to watch my second year, I played thirteen games. Man, I don't, I don't think y'all understand. Like, man, sitting on the bench every game of that time, yeah, sick to my stomach. Yeah, man, I was sick watching. I you know watch. what I mean? Like, I'm watching all of these dudes, and I'm, you know, like I, I'm better. Like, I feel like I'm like, <laughs> oh, like I'm there. I'm right. Like, yeah. I need, like, you know what yeah. I mean? But the injuries hold you back, and it's yeah. like I can't control it. You know, I'm doing everything in my power to make sure I show up ready and, and make sure my body is is where yeah. it need to be. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you go play, you can't. I'm not waking up out of bed and say, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go break my hand today. Yeah. I'm gonna you go. You know caught what? up in somebody's jersey. How I'm gonna control that? I feel. You like. know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm, like. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hurt myself today so I can miss time yeah. off the court. Yeah. Nobody's ever thinking that. You know facts, what I mean? But facts, facts. if you do what you can do and control, right, and just don't cheat the process, and don't I'm still. It faithful to the to the process like, i can't i can't Facts. even though it's hard even though it's a rough i can't drift away from that because yeah. i know the big picture and i know what i'm trying to get to and i and that's where i'm at right now and that's why i'm not losing confidence in myself right nothing's changing for me you know right. you got the talking you got the this that and, yeah. and all of that but nothing's changing for me bro let's talk about uh some of the negative side of that just a little bit mm-hmm. you know it comes to a point where people just have an opinion and social media then you know made it to where these fans can talk directly to these players now absolutely <laughs> how do you deal with all of the comments or just anything that's going on on social media coming your way like yeah that's crazy bro i nah, i don't hey, i'm a regular wilding, guy bro. i don't get that how does that feel bro no nah, it's crazy for sure you go now like when you see like I just open my phone and just I'm going on Twitter, Instagram <laughs> like a regular person. Right, right. But now it's like you in a position where people can reach you, tag you. Yeah. People can do all of this stuff where you see this, you see the stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. um, I think for me at first, you know, especially going to Duke, that was the first taste of mm. like a little mm. bit. Like it was just like like a little bit of that. Right. You know, being on that stage where we playing on ESPN every other night right and everybody gonna have something to say so that was like the first you. right you know you know taste of of the, in, the the negative right and that was that was different for me that was tough for me because mm-hmm. i you know you coming from high school where it's right. always everybody was you know everybody always love you everybody this this Facts. he's this he's Facts. this he's that then you go and you got haters i mean like haters that's just non-stop talking 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 man and at first it was like it was like damn like like what's right. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying was, yeah. and then over time 
you know, one thing my dad, he always told me was, one day they're going to hate you, one day they're going to love you. you yeah. And that's what kept me humble growing up. Right. You know, me in high school being you know, the number one player in the class every year. Like, I I didn't really, you know, it didn't, I, I just love to play basketball. Love I, didn't, play basketball. I didn't listen to it. Yeah. But one thing I will never forget is my dad telling me, one day they can say you're the number one player, and the next day they can say you're the number 100th player. Yeah. But yeah. that don't make you who you are. Right. You know what I mean? Whatever somebody has to say about you and, right. and the opinions they have on you, that's their opinion. At the end of the day, that don't make you who you are. Absolutely. And I think now that's that's been how I handle. Yeah, man. You know, it was you good. Know, you got that. All early. Of the, you know, all of the negative and it exactly. Yeah. Now I got that in the back of my mind. Yeah. So when you hear all these hate, all these people that's just waking up and just feel like they just got to type on Twitter. Yeah. Like it, what you saying don't make me. Yeah. You know what I mean? What you saying don't. Yeah. Bother like it. It don't bother me to the point where I'm gonna lose sleep over what you think. You know what facts, I mean? So facts. I got to the point where it was like now. I see it. Mm -hmm. I laugh about it now. <laughs> it's a joke. It's like it, it's so much now. It's over and over. It's like okay. What's the this? funniest thing you've seen about some about yourself? Somebody said, "I want to know this." But maybe if I I could <laughs> I got a list. I can have a list right now, my G. Like I can see her go on and on and on about you know the stuff I done seen. It's right. crazy, bro. Right. Like, they talk wild, and it's the fact they talk wild. It's crazy to me, bro, because the fact that you. Taking time out of your day. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. You can that's be doing why it's funny something. to me. You right? could be doing something productive, but you rather. Bro, that's why I'm like, bro, like, when I see it, it's like, he really took time to type this. Yeah. That's why it's funny. Yeah. Or she really took time. Whoever it's like, bro, you really took time out of your day. Yeah. You probably got a family. You probably got <laughs> you probably kids got, you got to worry about. You probably, probably got, got all this stuff. You what? <laughs> go to work. You right. probably got to do all this, but you really took time out your day right. to type this. It is what it is, though. That's how, right. you know, that's uh, at the end of the day, that's what you signed up for. We want yeah, absolutely. You know, be it come in this with position. It. Yeah. You, you signed up for it. Yeah. Now you just have to learn how to deal with it. And and keep it pushing because right. at the end of the day, like I said, that don't they don't make you who you are. Right. Only what you do and you control what you do, and that makes you, you right. know, the person you are. You got some genuine fans out there that j like honestly want to know how you feel uh -huh. about the three seasons that you've played in the NBA. Now, of course, they haven't been ideal, and you got some classmates in that class that's doing their thing. Shouts Man. to them for sure. No, for sure, for sure. Um, so two two things. Like, how do you feel about their success and what they got going on and how yeah. tight is that class? And then also about the fans that actually just want to know, like, bro, like, we rooting for you, but yeah. my Kings ain't been to the playoffs and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. I think fans got, you know, you know, fans are quick to – you know, jump on something that 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 might be like a hot topic, yeah, or like something yeah. you know worth talking about. They so quick quick to jump on it, right? Um, which is cool. They love the game of basketball, mm -hmm. um, and that's fine. But to the fans that really want to know that, I mean, for me, my first three years is it ain't even been my best basketball. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the injuries, mm -hmm. um. You know, I played pretty well, you yeah. know, uh, up and down, right. you know, throughout those times I was injured. But this, I don't, the world hasn't really seen, yeah, like Marvin Bagley. Uh, you know I what agree, I mean? And I, and I honestly, in my heart, believe that. Yeah. If if fans can understand, or if, if 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 they really understood, like this is our job. Yeah. Like this is what we love to do. Oh, right. I, I can't speak for a lot of other Fact, people. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Me, you're right, you're right. For myself personally, right. This is what I love to do. This is what I wake up to. This is what my whole life is around. Yeah. Like just flip the roles a yeah. little bit because that's really what it is. Right. They might go to work, have a bad week. Yeah. Bad few days. Yeah. They go home and go to sleep. They talk yeah. about it, but it ain't. It ain't like under. You know what I'm saying? It ain't on Twitter. Right. It ain't uh, hella articles right. about how- We should have hired Tom from accounting. You know what I mean? We should have hired Tom. <laughs> Tom was so better. So it's like, you know what I mean? They just gotta understand that we human people, we go, uh -huh. we not, we not, we not just these superheroes that don't feel nothing. No, nah, facts, man. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, I feel, I bleed the same way you bleed. Right. I, I go to sleep, wake up the same way y'all go to sleep and wake up. Right. 
I'm a person right. before all of this. Right. A man before all of this. So it's like, if they understand that, I think it'll be like a, a, a better connect between fans and like players. But facts. You know, like I said, it's what you signed up for. Yeah. You might not ever get that. Yeah. Which is cool. And I don't, I, me personally, I don't care. Because yeah. like I said, it's not going to make or break who I am. Right. But I just noticed that and I see that. And it's like, what if the roles were reversed? Like, then what? Yeah. You feel me? Like, like then how would that go? How would that play out? How would y'all feel if y'all was under, you know what I mean? That, but that's that's just stuff I think about. Though. Yeah, no facts, no facts. So that second part of that question about the about your class that you came in with, mm -hmm. like, first of all, that's a real special class, man. Y'all doing yeah, some, y'all doing some, sure. and I'm saying y'all because they they like to exclude, you know, <laughs> like come on, bro, let's talk for real. But anyway, no, for sure, I, that class is doing some good stuff, man. Yeah. Speak on that class a little bit. Man, I seen um I saw something that's that uh little article of DeAndre saying this is the best class mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. And I agree. Just because you have Kobe and them was in ninety six, though. That was I feel it. I feel it. But But y'all up there. But we hey. top three. I agree. But that's Bean. That's Kobe. I'm Kobe is, Kobe's Kobe. You feel me? Kobe AI Kobe. was in there. AI, you feel me? But look. Ray Allen was in there. We just starting. <laughs> Nash was in there. <laughs> <laughs> they was in there. All right, one of the one of the best. Okay, there we go. One All of the right, best. Cool. I, I, can, I, can, I can agree with one, one of the best. best. Okay, you you got a point there. One yeah. of the best. But the reason I say that is, you know, you got guys that are doing like unbelievable things on yeah, their facts. on their on their team. Facts. Um, you know, you 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 look back. I see Trey doing this thing. Luca doing yeah. this thing. Yeah. Um, you know, being in high school with DeAndre and playing on the same team. Right. Now he's doing his thing. It's right. like it's it's great to see. Like I'm like I'm happy for those for those guys. Right. Um and you know it like I said in my in my situation, you know, up and down roller coaster yeah. so far. Yeah. But I like, my confidence is yeah like yeah. it's just it's just how I go sometimes. Like it yeah. ain't it ain't gonna go smooth like you want it. Yeah. Every, you know what I mean? If you, you gotta go through those, you know, those obstacles to to, to get to the to the next side, so you would appreciate yeah. it more. Right, and that's just where I'm at. I mean, right. I'm, I'm working every day. I'm doing everything I gotta do to make sure when I step on the court, I'm I'm going to be ready. Right, and that's all I can control at the end. Right, of the that's day. it. That's and, it. You know what I mean? And I think when it's all said and done, when you look back at this class, it's like okay, yeah, like they got a lot of. You see multiple championships yeah, coming out of this championships, class. Championships, okay. All star appearances, okay. okay. All of that MVPs, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. this this class is really a special class, yeah. And when I when I sit back and, and look at it, and it's like I, I got relationships with these dudes too. Yeah. So it's like I played against them, yeah. Play with well on the same team with these somebody or DeAndre, yeah. Um, Michael playing against yeah. Porter, Gary Trent, yeah. Trent, yeah. Co like so it's like I got relationships with these yeah. dudes. So it's always yeah. great to see these dudes do well, right? Um, but yeah, no, I, like when it's when it's all said and done, I think this class is gonna be. You know, up there and and remembered as one of the the, the best class, uh, right. one of the best draft draft classes to come out. So right, All right. You going into your fourth year, man? What is something that you want to improve on um, next season? What are you looking forward to? Um, like what what is what what is motivating you right now to go into this next season? What's motivating me right now? Yeah, what's motivating you right now, bro? The the whole world is motivating me right now. How they how they talking crazy? They talking sick. Like that's they talking like, sick. I really like they really. Yeah. I hate talking about myself like like. Yeah. But I don't think they really know what the talk is doing. Right. Like I see, I hear it. Right. And it just really like, like that just I just sit in here until it's time to you know what I mean like it, it's I'm I'm ready. Yeah. I'm gonna be ready when we wherever I'm at wherever I go where whatever the. I'm no matter what the circumstance situation is, right. I'm gonna be there and ready. And Absolutely. I think that's my approach going into this off season is uh making sure I make the best out of every day. Yeah, man. Cause you can't at this point you can't have wasted days. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta do something. Yeah. Something you gotta be doing. And I think um going into this season, that's what's motivating me. All of the talk you hear it. Just, just how they they counting you out, count me out. Mm -hmm. Just how quick they are to just quick jump on too. that and just forget. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that that's really what's what's really motivating me every yeah. day I wake up. That's yeah. what I think about, and that's how I go about my day. 
and yeah. it's gonna be that's gonna be exciting to see you know what this work i'm doing right and where it take me and, and the process going through the whole process of right 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 um you got some cool things popping outside of basketball yeah um you 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 starting your 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 three five entertainment man talk right, about that right. a little bit <laughs> yeah no that's uh no, three five was something that I wanted to you know create um, to give people a platform to just show different sides right. of themselves that they wouldn't normally show. Right. Um, that's why we're doing the podcast. Right. Doing right. That. In the future, we're gonna build on it and eventually have more, you know, yeah. topics of podcasts yeah. and stuff like that. The music. Um, you know, when I'm making my music, I wanted to have something where I can. Can start from the ground up. That's that's yeah. mine. Yeah, that I can always, you know, go back to and and and, and put everything I got into it. You right. know what I mean? So, right. I mean, it's just a. I think it's a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um, I just wanted to give, like I said, give a lot of people on, on whatever you know, whatever talents they have. Yeah, bring everybody together and, and just build on it. And yeah, I think that's. I think that's super positive. Guys like that don't come often. A lot of guys, you know, they're they're. They um they get caught up in the narrative that you can only do one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But you you see guys like LeBron, more than the athlete movement going on. KD got something popping off. Yeah, you know you see Dame doing his music and stuff like that. Absolutely. So I think what you're doing is, is is real important. Like Kobe, like Kobe said that you know he was thinking his second act three four years into his career, and this is the most focused person that we've all been told is you know yeah. he don't think about nothing but basketball. No, you know what sure. I'm saying? So I think it was real important um, that you did this for yourself. Um, but also, you know, when people think you can't do both, <laughs> uh, like you got fans out there that talk crazy wow. about just because you, you wow. want to do music. Absolutely. It's like how what's your response to that when they when they talking crazy about, you know, your music? I mean, at first for me, when I was a. Uh... Well, first of all, I've always been like doing both since right. I was, since as long as I can remember. Right. Um, I was always since I was younger, go to practice. Right. Come home, do my homework. Um, get everything I needed to get done that was important and that I wasn't gonna get in trouble if I didn't right, do. Right. 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 Um, knock all that out. Now I'm writing. I'm just writing stuff, random raps, rhyme, whatever it is. I'm just right, writing, right, whether it's just right. journaling, you know, writing out thoughts that I got. Um, um, but yeah. I've been doing both. Mm -hmm. So now when I'm in a position now where it's like, I'm, I'm hooping, I go to the gym, I do everything I gotta do mm -hmm. to get better, work on my game. Mm -hmm. um, when I go home, you got the rest of the day. And music is something I love, it's something yeah. that I, you know, that I have a passion for. So I go and, and put time into that. Yeah, You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of time in the day and, and when people would say, how you doing both? Like, yeah. oh, just focus on this. <laughs> like, just focus on that. I was like, like, damn. Like, <laughs> how much? Like, it's 24 hours in this day. Like, you feel me? Like, I, I went to practice. Right, right. Showed up, did Extra my treatment. work. Like, come on. Don't stayed after the, practice. Yeah, got yeah. in the cold tub, hot tub, treatment. Yeah. yeah. Watching film, doing everything I'm supposed to be doing to, yeah. to get better at that first, because right. that's my, you know, first love. Yeah. But after that, it's like, these these dudes I'm playing with is grown men. They got yeah. families. They got yeah. kids. They got they got you know wives at home. Yeah. They got they, they got stuff that's going on. So once you leave there, you know you by yourself. Facts. You got the rest of the day until you got to be back at the same time the next day. So when I will hear people say um, you can't do both, it's yeah. like 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 what else? You know what what more do you want? What else should I like? Be doing? What else you like? You know what I mean? And it's not like I'm out here. I go to practice and then I'm just going to the club every night. Yeah, yeah. And just making the worst decisions possible right or, or harming anybody you know right. what i mean it's like music is is a harmless thing just like if anybody you know it's a lot of people in the nba that i've seen that i play with that have hobbies painting yeah. Yeah. art yeah cars yeah. talk about it yeah you know what i mean they go do this they go walk, they go look at all the cars at the shop yeah. or they go paint something or they go yeah but it was always a problem when i would go put out music yeah. Cause that's you know what I mean, and that's like I said, I'm at a point now where I don't it don't bother me because I know what I'm doing it for, and yeah. at the end of the day, I'm on a platform where I have, you know, the the platform to 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 reach a lot of people, and, yeah. and if I don't use it, I can't sleep at night. Yeah, I won't be able to live with that knowing like I'm not I'm not giving all I got Facts, to, to to reach Facts. 
you know, as many people as I want to reach. Right. And so when you hear people saying that, it's like, bro, y- either you like my music mm-hmm. or you don't. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it, it's for you or it's not for you. And yeah. that's fine. I'm, I'm not, you know, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Right. But at the end of the day, I'm just, whatever's going to make me happy. Yeah. If I can reach people. Yeah. In a positive way, yeah. that's my only goal. So. And it's better. I mean, you you talking about you know your music is giving real insight on this life that a lot of these kids have a dream of reaching. Yeah. So that's what I enjoy about your music. Like it's dope. Like you put on Cole, you can you can hear right. what he's trying to tell you. You put on Kendrick, you can hear what he's trying to tell you. It ain't just the beat. It ain't just you know you really got wordplay. You no, really over sure. here trying to you know trying to educate some of these youngins on how this stuff goes sometimes. So. I think it's you know it's positive to have someone um, tell it to you yeah. in a form of yeah. music or a form of art or something like For that. Sure. Somebody's inspired that you're an NBA player, but somebody's also inspired that you're an NBA player that can rap or that can do something else, something else as well. Right. You know what I mean? So I think it's really important, man. I I, I appreciate what you're doing, um, but you know just don't don't stop being you because it's a no, kid absolutely. out there that really. You know that's, that's that's really you know relying on that. That's what I, that's why I keep it going, man. Because you know, like you said, it's somebody that's watching, right? You know, what I mean, right. and and I get in in these modes sometimes where it's like I'll make a I'll make music, and I'll think like that, like like what do they want to hear? Like what they trying to hear? Like yeah. what do they right? Do they even want to hear it? Right. You know right. what I mean? Like right. it's like do they even want to hear me say what I got to say? Right. And then at the end of the end of the day, it's like nah, like nah, like. Yeah. Fuck all that. Like yeah. it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I gotta I gotta say what I gotta say before it's it's too late to say what I gotta say. Absolutely. You know what man. I mean? And that's my only thing is you know, if, if somebody hears what I have to say mm-hmm. and 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 it inspires them to go do what they want then my mission like that's a mission accomplished. Exactly. For me. Like I'm it's just one person. Exactly. And you reach the next person and then you that person go you know, put your music out, and then they reach the next person. It's right. I'm good. Like right. that's the only reason I do it. It's it's because I love it, mm-hmm. and you know I want to reach as many people as I can. Yeah, so. man. And it's a form of expression as well. I think absolutely a lot of athletes get told to shut up and dribble, which is trash. You know what I'm saying? That's so I, I I think if you you know you can't play basketball for 24 hours a day, so you you um showing a positive another positive outlet that's real dope man let's talk about let's talk about what you got coming up this summer man you got an album dropping yeah and a documentary around the corner man dive into that album and then i want to talk a little bit more about that documentary um but yeah the music side you know i just dropped a single uh, my single late nights right um fire too yeah i know y'all love that song um go listen to it y'all you know saying youtube Facts. watch the video all that but um, but yeah, no, we got uh, we working on this project, man. Marv versus Marv two. Yeah, and basically, you know, the whole theme of that is kind of what we've been talking about today is mm-hmm. just like managing being an athlete and and a, and a rapper. Right. Marv versus Marv. Like, right. how do you merge those two right. together and and going through everyday life, like dealing with you can't do both, you can't mm-hmm. do th- you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole theme of that is just just opening up to the world man um i mean any if anybody that know me and, and if you close to me right you know how i move like yeah. I don't, it's like i can't like i, I don't open up to people like facts, that like, i don't facts. trust a lot of people that easily facts, unless facts. i really get to know you mm-hmm. and i want the world to see a different side of me other than you know the, the basketball court and, and being right. you know being heard or, or not you know all, outside of the court i want them to see me mm-hmm. who i am Mm-hmm. How I am with people that I truly care about and Facts. am around, Facts. Um, and that's really what I'm putting in the music. I'm really this is a, the first time where I mean my music I like to be as real as I can possibly get. Facts, but I think this project is a project where I'm really like diving deep into myself, finding myself, and yeah. like really opening up myself to the world so they can really see like damn, like he really does feel the same feelings that we feel. Right. He right. really does do right. the same things that we do as people. So this documentary you got coming up, bro. Yep. Like, let's let's touch on that a little bit, bro. Like, so the album, the documentary, are they connected or what's what what is this documentary? <clears throat> yeah, um they connected. Um, um you know, like like I said um about the album, 
I'm like digging into myself and like opening mm. up myself to the world so they can see a different, you know, side of me. I think I wanted to give them a a visual of that. Right. Um, right. You know, I think the documentary is a great thing for them to see like how I, like the people around me, how I live, the, the things that I do on a day to day basis, right. you know, making sure I'm still on top of my hoop. Facts. You know, that's, that's the most important, you know, thing. Um, just showing them how I go through that process, go right. through all my workouts, right. then leave from there, get something to eat, then go to the studio. Just the whole process of that, I'm, right. I'm able to do both right. you know, with this, you know, the whole theme of, you know, Marv versus Marv. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, show the world a different, you know, side of me. And uh, I think I think it's, it'll, it'll be a great thing for them to see that so they can know right. I'm not just this guy that the, the media, right. Everybody tries to, you know, make me out to be. Right. Um, it's like I'm I'm if you get to know me, you know that I'm a, I joke around, I laugh, I'm I'm exactly I'm chilling. Like showing your personality. Yeah, like way. showing showing the world more of that. Right. You know, it's, instead of, you know, always just showing up and just letting the world dog me. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like I I'd rather flip that tell your own and, story. Yeah, like yeah, I I'm I'll be damned if I let y'all tell me how I'm going. Facts, you know what I mean? Facts, so it's facts. like I'ma do it. And just just show the world, you know what I mean, and that's the the right. the, the main. How reason. much how much is it documenting though? Is it just this summer? Yeah. Okay. I mean, for the for the project, okay, it's, it's documenting. You know, it's it's gonna be split up into you know parts. Okay. You know, certain parts. You know, early me. You know, just the background of you know why I started music. This that right. and the third, and then you got the hooping part. Well, my days are, are like waking up, going to the gym. Right. You know all the stuff I, I have to do to to maintain that, and then you got the part about the album, yeah, and what's going into that, yeah. and just all around process of my creative process going through, you know, making music and and and, and basketball. So, um, it's like I said, I think it's it, it'll be a great opportunity for the world to you know get a a, a deeper look into right. into Marvin Bagley Man. the third and MB35 the rapper. Facts. You know, I mean, it's Facts. just. And, and it's a perfect opportunity for that. Dope, dope, dope. Well, we looking forward to it, bro. I know it's some dope stuff in there. Me personally, I've, you know, I've seen your process yeah. uh, numerous times. So I think um, your fans are going are to be in for a treat with this one. I hope so. I hope they I hope they like it. Hope they, you know, enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is one that's that's really coming from, you know, the heart. Like you said, you, you've, you've moved in a way that was best for you and your family yeah like y'all handle y'all business man like y'all show up i'm gonna handle business i'm out i'm not trying to be in everybody's face no i'm not trying to have some huge entourage or something like that like y'all move nah. like yo i'm i'm just trying to handle my business i got goals here that's that's really that's you that's the thing like staying locked in on that yeah that what you trying to do and what yeah. you want to accomplish you don't yeah. really got time for all the extra right you know, walking around with 15 people. Right. Yeah. I think y'all just wasn't worried about being like, like you wasn't, no. you, you're you not trying to be like, but no. this album, this doc, what yeah. you're doing over here at 3-5 Entertainment, I think that's going to show how likable you are. No, like, I think some of my favorite stories is when people talk about how much they was wrong about Kobe Bryant yeah. when he retired. They ain't, gonna give like, you, they ain't gonna give it to you. I was like, dang, that's deep, that's right? Like, that's, I was like, that's deep. Like y'all hate him. Like some of the people I know, I hate him. He ran Shaq out the, and I hate him. And now it's just that, you know, and now it's like, dang man, Kobe, Kobe was really that dude, huh? Yeah. And I'm like, y'all missed twenty well, years of it. I'm telling y'all, y'all missed it. It's crazy. And then you know the, the crazy part about that is, it's like, like now it's rest in peace to Kobe. But it's yeah. like he gone now. Like it, you, why y'all? Like you gotta bro. give him his man, flowers bro. while he here, bro. Because it's like. Man. You know what I mean, and and that's the sad part about it. It's like they not gonna do that. There's gonna be so many people that no matter how much how bad they want to, yeah, for whatever reason they not until yeah. it's something like crazy. Yeah. And I was, oh dang, I love them. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, like like he was so great. Like we we love him. Yeah, and I was like nah, yeah, bro. Like, like, I need nah. that while I'm here. Right, bro. right. <laughs> you know and everybody else, they may be saying that about everybody else. Yeah. Like give people their flowers. Or just keep your negative ass opinions away from people. Like people go through too pointless. much anyway. That's pointless, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pointless, dog. Well, we gotta dig into the cookie jar. 
We the guests today, so we got yeah. to dig into the cookie <laughs> jar, get an Oreo up out of there. Uh, you feel yeah. me? So, um, one thing about this cookie jar, man, um, I think it's a dope. I think it's a dope thing because yeah. whenever we don't answer, got to put a hundred. You got to put a hundred. You got to donate. You know, you know how I go. You got to donate a hundred dollars to some charity, man. And right now we had three hundred. You know, Liz and them, they, they they was passing. They was passing on a couple. You they know passed a few times. Yeah. So, so we, we got three hundred going three. to a good charity afterwards. Um, uh, I'll be. I'll answer some questions too. You know, I always think I'm not supposed to because I'm the host, but whatever. No, nah, we like, we got like, we we in this thing together. Bro. Let's do we it, got, man. Let's do it. <laughs> you don't go. You. I'm gonna go, 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 go first. first. Go first, man. Go first. We got. Bro. Let's see, man. <laughs> What's this? What's this? This a conversation started. What's this? Worst date. You've ever been. Ooh. Ooh. I Tell see, the people I what's see. the worst. Actually, no, I got one, bro. I'm gonna tell you. I think I I think I, I think I mentioned it to you before, bro. I think if, I mentioned it. Are you talking to you. about the one I'm thinking about? Go ahead. So look, man. This was about like sixth, seventh grade. I, I was in love with this girl. <laughs> this is the one. It is the one, bro. <laughs> look, bro. Go ahead. My brother, let me start from the top. Sixth, seventh grade. Right. Like, I was in love with this girl. We was in the same class. You want me to mention her name? No, nah, don't give her no name. Don't give her no shout out. No, nah, she don't. No, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm not even going to do I ain't going to do all that. But like, all right, let's go. I was in love with this girl. And um, Six, one seven, day. Grade in love. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing, bro. I was I was I was distracted. I was I was I was I wasn't focused. It's before you got focused. Yeah, I had to lock back in. This one really made me lock back in too, though. Look. Oh, the no, heartbreak got like, you in. <laughs> he got to the NBA off of this. Okay, it makes sense nah, but, now. It but, makes sense. But, you know, we went. We got a, a group of friends. We right. went. You know what I'm saying? We was already kicked. Like we was cool. Right. Right. So we go to the mall one day. Me, my brother, Jalen House. Um, some other some other people from my school. Right. So we there, right? And um I remember she pulled me to the side. Like we like we cool. Like that's my girl. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's my girl. <laughs> so like she pulled me to the side. She was like, make it worse. It's like, it was in it was like in Star like at Starbucks, bro. Like outside I don't remember if it was outside of, but we was at Starbucks for right. sure. She pulled me to the side and it was just like yeah, I don't, I don't want to do this no more. Oh my god! Like, I don't think we should. Like, I don't think we should really, you know, do this no more. I'm like, what you mean? What you, what you talking about, yo? So I'm like, I, me. Yeah. I'm like, no. What, what if I like? What if we just, you feel me? Like, what if we get work some out? <laughs> nah, I don't want to do that. All right, bet. So we leave. I turn around. My brother, Jalen House. Um. Um. Everybody was there dying laughing, oh. cr cracking up laughing. Oh, that's tough. So I gotta come back to the homies like, damn, like she just she just broke up with me. Like, damn, they, why she why she wait till everybody was there? That's what I, that was that's a private I was, I was conversation. Like, damn, you wait to the to the homies right here. <laughs> they when I tell you they laughed the rest of the day and they still whenever they whenever they see me they don't still laugh about that. Peanut, don't bring that up no more. Marcus, man. Marcus be joking about this to this day, bro. Like. Like I like I was I was hurt, bro. I was like, dang. After that, you know, I seen her at school and stuff, but I was I was locked in. I was like, man, I ain't got time for these girls no more. Like, now look, now now look. Yeah, I didn't motivate it. I didn't got motivated off of that. All all just <laughs> off that situation. You feel me? And, and but hey, that was that was that was that was a little little date. I all would right. call it a date. Though. All right. Am I answering this too, or do I got to pick a new one? I mean, you can pick. A, I mean, pick a new one. It's whatever we. Do. Let me say. Where's the date? I just say my worst date. It was an easy one. I took a girl to the bridge. The bridge in LA. Everybody know what I'm talking about. It's in Cobra City, behind the Cobra City Mall. Um, but behind the Fox Hills Mall. Let me stop acting like I'm not from LA. Behind the Fox Hills Mall. Um, I took a girl. We seen, I think it was Spider Man. <laughs> I had my dad Lincoln. I had my dad Lincoln. Hey, he was rolling. Mind you, I, I've been driving forever without a license at this point. I don't get called, I drive well, the whole thing, I've been driving since I was 12. That's another story. 12? That's another story. I had to, I had to do what I had to do. 
Whatever. Oh, you was out here wilding. I was out here. No, it wasn't a balling thing. It was like you have to kind of. No, I said wilding. Oh, I thought you said balling. No, I was say, nah, wilding. Wilding. I wasn't balling. I wasn't balling, sir. No, <laughs> fourteen. <laughs> yeah. I'm in you're the wilding. car by myself. Like you feel me? So this is like I'm about sixteen. <laughs> so I got the Lincoln. I'm not privy to what what the rules is and all that. A tail light is out. So we leaving the movie. Oh. They get pulled over. <laughs> you going to jail? I'm not going to jail. <laughs> But even worse, I wish I would've went to jail. I probably got some stripes. They took the car. Uh, they impounded the car. <laughs> so y'all had to walk? License and registration, please. Uh, excuse me, sir. I, I I don't have my license on me right now, but I do have a permit. All right, give me the permit. It's not on me right now, but I have it. Like, I have it. <laughs> you are lying. Okay, well, that tail light is out and yeah. this tent in the back is too much. It's an old town, town, what is it called? Town car. It's an old Lincoln, big old long gangster looking Lincoln. So they pull me over and I tell them that and I try to get my little script like, yo, I know I'm not supposed to be driving, but look, sir, I promise you I live right up the street. I'm just going to take my girl home. I'm going to park it. My dad know I'm out here. We can call him this, that, and other. This dude, mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I feel you. Write me the ticket. I said, well, look, will you call your dad that's right up the street and tell him to come get you? I said, what, what, for what, sir? Like, for what? No, I'm, I have to impound the car. You don't have a license. There's no insurance on here, and you got a broken tail light. I said, sir, but I can't get the car impounded. Yeah. My dad got to go to dialysis, and he wasn't buying nothing. I was trying to give him the whole thing. So that's my worst dating experience. So I look so, crazy. Wait, wait. So they, t- they took it. They took my car. What pop say? I mean, pop How was, knew. He went hot? He was hot, but pop, he was older. So pop yeah, wasn't was like... like I was just more embarrassed because the girl had to call her mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got my Levi's on with the hat to the bag. I got a white tee on. Fresh, bro. Was- like, I'm like, bro, my mom got, I got to wait for her mom to get there. Like, it just. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. That was probably the worst one. That's easily the worst one. You know what I'm saying? We didn't work out. After that, she was like. We didn't work out. She's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, we didn't, we, we was cool for a little bit, but she kind of drifted off. She's, got somebody more together. <laughs> yep. So, so, it is what it is. I ain't ashamed. Hey, bro, be like that sometimes. I ain't ashamed. I got like my that. license now. It'd be like that. God damn it. Um, All time starting five. Dang. All time starting five. Um, I'm going to start thinking of mine right now. All time starting five. Uh, and by position, too, because it's starting five. All right, I will go Steph. Mm. Mm, all, mm. That's a millennial quote. That's a millennial uh, answer. Um, I'm going to say what I really feel. Nah, Steph. Yeah, it's Steph. Because Steph can shoot the shit out the ball. Facts. Steph. You can't go wrong. I was Steph on your team. Kobe at the two. Mm. Mike at the three. Because Mike, when he got a little older, he went up there to that three. Mm-hmm. He was backing dudes down or whatnot. And I don't know how that's going to work because there's only one basketball, but they'll figure it out. Um, Brian at the four. He'll be my point four. I know. I know. I got to have Brian on the team. I, I ain't said nothing. <laughs> I have Brian on the team. <laughs> uh, and Shaq. Brian at the four and then Shaq. Yeah. That's my, that's my starting five. All-time starting five. Because Shaq ain't – like, what can you do with Shaq? Nothing. And you triple team him, and you give it to Curry? It's over. Oh, yeah. You're down 50. Yeah. You look up, Mike and, Mike and Mike and Kobe locking everything up? Come on, bro. Dang. What's your, what's your starting five? <laughs> Put yourself in there if you want to. You in the NBA. I can be the point guard on that team. I promise you I can be the point guard on that team. People going to – gonna. Dang, I gotta really think about this, but it's on the spot, so people might might be a little all right, hey. upset with this one. Though. Hey, man, they gonna you you, they gonna, you just said they gonna talk. They gonna they talk. Are, that's they gonna, all, that's cool. But all right. I know they gonna it's gonna stir up a little bit. Let's with go. This one. I want to hear. It. Um, point guard, point guard. I'm gonna go Allen Iverson. Not bad. I'm gonna go Allen guy. Iverson. It's my guy. Shooting guard. I'm not. That's that's cold. There we go. That's cold. You, go. you feel me? That's there you go. Bean, you gotta that's throw in the shooting guard. You feel me? That's Bean. Um, dang. Who the three, <laughs> man? Who the three, man? Come on. 
Who the three? You got AI, you got Kobe. You already halfway. You about to win just off that. Who your three? You got to throw Mike in there. There you go. Michael. My MJ got to be in there. And then at the four, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to go with Kevin Garnett. Ooh, the ticket. I'm, I'm going to go with KG and then Shaq at the five. I love it. That You know what's funny is when you say all-time favorite, those are my all-time favorite. No, for sure. Those are my the, the, all-time like, favorite guys. Sure. Like, that's those are my all time favorite. We ain't gonna talk about the bench because like yeah. I'm gonna have like yeah, that's gonna be yeah, some OD stuff. You know what I'm saying? Bench. It's gonna be yeah. no favorite though. AI and KG are in my top five favorite nah, players. They gotta be like Jesus Christ. AI's hey, crossover was <laughs> OD. Come on, man. We had the whole world out here shaking. You know what I'm saying? That's like a, that's a carry. Now it was. It wasn't back then when we was hooping. It is with y'all. <sighs> yeah. By the time y'all was able to hoop, it was already out the game. Like you got to kind of have your hand on top of. Nah, we was dudes out here. still be carrying though. Like dudes, do they? Yes, they don't. They don't call that like that unless it's OD obvious. Yeah, but like, yeah. they not if you a little bit like who carry every possession in the NBA right now. I feel like most of the most, <laughs> most, of, the most guards of the do. guards do. Like from what I've seen, I mean, it's like, but nobody nobody's watching that close to like how you right. you just dribbling up the floor. Nobody's right. like, let me see if he carrying. Right. Unless right. you like it's an OD and you just stop and hold the ball like this and just. Like they, they not gonna call that, but um, facts, 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 facts. But they they do be carrying though. That's you. Get a good one, man. <laughs> Get a good one. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Bro, that's your brother question. <laughs> Shout out Trey. <laughs> that's the only one I knew that was in there. This is your brother question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I hate this question, bro. <laughs> I don't even like hot dogs, bro. Is it a sandwich? <laughs> we didn't ask you, did you want one? Do you like mustard? None of that. Is it a sandwich? <laughs> hot dog is a hot dog, bro. I don't I don't think it's a sandwich. So I've been <laughs> It's not a sandwich. I've been on edge. It's a hot dog. I've been on edge about this, but what would you consider a hot dog if it ain't a sandwich? A hot dog is a hot dog, but bro. What you... it's, it's not like okay, so is a hot link a hot dog? <laughs> like if you put a hot link in the bun, is that a hot dog? <laughs> no. You would call that a hot link what? Sandwich. I, I wouldn't. That is a hot link sandwich. But we talking about hot dogs. Though. Okay, so you, you said that yourself. We're I talking about hot dogs, right, not hot you links. Put a, when you put a Polish sausage inside the little buns, is it a hot dog? <laughs> yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Pause. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh my God, bro. Hey, wait, wait, wait. My if fault, you put bro. a Polish joint, if you put a Polish joint up in there. <laughs> if you put a Polish joint up in there, is that a sandwich? I think I think the true answer to this question is a hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> I didn't agree before I got more people telling me. A hot dog is not a sandwich. Hey, there you go. We both, we got opposite answers. Cause somebody told me, bro, if it ain't a sandwich, then what is it? And I said, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but if I'm sitting here and telling you right now, like if you ask me that, it's not a, it's a hot dog. Hey. Bro. Like maybe hey. I gotta do some more research, Okay, but hot dog is it's called a you. hot dog. Before today, I was right where you were. Then I got some, <laughs> I got some uh, backlash. Why? Why don't like? Never mind. I don't know. Next question. I don't know. Bro, I don't know. Go on Let's and off. Go. Let's give me a good one. Man, long guys question. Oh, is there one person you've always wanted a stamp of approval from? Mm. Oh, this is a good question. Uh, one person for me. I got an interesting answer for this too. Mm. I got an interesting answer for that. Mm. One. Let me think of mine. That's a that's a, a damn good question. That's, I got an interesting answer for that one. Uh, is there one person? Uh, it would probably be. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't look for approval that's, from that, people. That's, that's where I was like, going. I, with like, it. That's I where don't. I, was going with. That's I just, I, going. I just don't like. I don't look for approval from that's people. Where I was going. But I will say this. If I can look myself in the mirror and say I'm proud of you at the end of doing anything, then I feel like 
I can live with whatever else yeah. somebody no, else got to say. I, I I completely understand. Now I can also say, hey, you ain't on your shit, bro. Like, yeah, get it together. Or yeah, I can say that to myself. And sometimes we beat ourselves up to the point of like damn near depression. No, but and that's kind of where I was going too. Yeah, that's that's where okay. like that's where I was going with that. Because yeah. if you one thing I like I realize is like if you go through life always wanting like looking for somebody to 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 praise you or yeah. looking for somebody to give you like oh you 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 doing good you doing man. this you doing you doing great man then you going to always search for that and then when you don't have that and nobody's giving it to you right. it's like now you are like damn like nobody I must not be good I right. must not be so that's right. why it's like I don't really like dive into it like yeah, that. Yeah. It's like if if they do, then they I I'll, I'll feel away. But if you don't, I'm gonna still be me. Right. It's like right. that way I could. And I think you say you look yourself in the mirror and be yeah, like, Yeah, man. You did all you all you could do and whatever you was doing. You could walk away. You could sleep at night. You, you can, can wake up and you can whatever situation you in. You can know yeah. if I gave it all I got, then that's that's yeah. that you that's know what the I mean? honest so that's, answer but like, if I, I had like you know it's it's good to have people yeah acknowledge like, what you're doing though yeah. like that's it's, that's stuff i don't want to get like confused with it yeah it's like if you if you're doing something and i'll say cold i was about to say that like if, if cold was like yo you doing that'll like like dang i'm really I'm, doing it i'm gonna turn like that'll yeah. make you turn up some more you yeah know? but like as far as like the whole like yeah. always looking for it is like yeah I won't. I won't really look yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. Kobe would be, um, which is funny. I was working uh, with the Peace Players International, and we were scheduled to to. Um, I don't even know if I can say this, but we were scheduled to to train the Mamba. I think it's like a Mamba clinic or something like that that he has in L.A. Mm -hmm. uh, Mamba League. That's what it was. Mamba yeah, League. Yeah. We were scheduled to to train the coaches on how to deal with kids because we got such a good rap over there at the peace players about how to deal with kids and we were gonna meet him and it was scheduled probably a week after he was his actual passing and i just felt like bro i was finna ask you so many questions yeah i was almost mad like the day after i was always mad like bro i had so many because i was not gonna hold back i've been this close to kobe a couple times but i haven't been able to say like bro you feel me like no, for sure. You you were you were a different figure out here, and not on some, you know, holier than thou. But it was just like, yeah, you really no, you, epitomized hard work. You did everything that you was like yeah. you were supposed to do, and, yeah. and people look up to that. Like, that's, yeah, so you know what I mean. That was that. That was that. But it would have been cold. But the answer to that is probably just you know myself. All right, last question, man. You up? Oh, Make it a good it. one, man. Come on. Woo! There you go. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what movie makes you cry? Oh. Dang, what? Mm. Dang, what movie? Man? I got to think of that one, too. I'm not a big crier, though. Mm, but I'm not. A, oh, I know one that got me there. No, low key, I, it is one, but like it's, it's low key serious. Like it's like a serious, serious ass movie. Like you, you're supposed to cry off that. Which one? Like we're gonna get into a deep conversation if I say it. Which one? Which one? Hold on. Which one? Nice. I would say any slave movie. Oh yeah. If I look, gosh. if I watch any slave movie, It'll like get you there. Yeah. Like I, I get so mad and it's like I start crying, bro. Like yeah. watching them do all that, yeah. all that shit in movies, like right. like that'll really like that. That's some movies I could really say that. But yeah, that's a that's a that's a different you know conversation. Right. But that's right, that's right, a movie. Right. 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 Especially when was the Twelve Years a Slave. Oh man. You know what's fun? I can only watch those probably twice. I can't, I can't watch, watch those that much. My my parents forced me to watch that movie. Yeah. bro. I didn't want to because I knew like yeah. I was like, it's gonna be it's gonna it's be gonna be deep. deep. Yeah. I'm like ah, I'm in there like, like dang, bro. Like, <laughs> why y'all make me watch this, bro? Like, <laughs> oh, I know which one. I know what? which one. It didn't make me cry, but I was angry as hell. It's, I'm gonna say three of them. You know, we watched when we watched uh, when they see us. Mm. Actually. When that they is see a good one. When, when they, they see us, us, when they see us, that documentary no, for sure. was done so well. First of all, secondly, when they see us, that was a true story. No, oh, yeah, that's that's crazy. And then to see like the after, I think Oprah had like a they had them right after, yeah. and it was like, bro, these kids rot in jail over some shit that y'all just said they did. 
Oh, I was mad, bro. I, no, that's, that's another one I can no, only watch probably that's twice. For sure, that's for sure. That's yeah. for sure one. Because I remember feeling like that too when I watched yeah. that. And it's stuff like that because Fruitville Station was the one I was going to say. Mm-hmm. Fruitville Station when when uh, Michael B. Jordan was playing Oscar. and Yeah. Bro, I got a daughter. He couldn't get back to it. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, it, it got me emotional. The girl I was with to see that, she actually cried. She like broke out and cried like a real ugly cry in the theater. Mm-hmm. And we was at a matinee. We was about to go see an, another movie, and it just kind of ruined the whole. <laughs> like we walked out, I was like, "Damn, I don't even want to watch no happy shit." Like, <laughs> nah, for sure. I, this is crazy. So it would but probably I, be. Have those... you seen that? Have you watched the, the the new Kevin Hart movie? Yeah, Fatherhood. Like, yeah, I heard that. I heard that's like one yeah. that'll like, yeah. like make you cry. I, I ain't watched mm, it yet. Yeah, it was it was deep. But it was it deep. wasn't like cry deep. Like you you gonna cry I watching mean, it? I'm like I said, I'm not a big crier. Yeah, fast I'm up. not a big crier, but. It was deep, and uh, me having a child now, that shit was... Yeah, and I'm already It's done. deep, but it was a good-ass movie. Kevin, yeah. when Kevin does serious stuff, I mean, he's funny as hell, but when Kevin does serious stuff, man, he be in his bag. Yeah. Like, he be in his bag, so... Oh. Well, that's a wrap for this episode of the Halfway Decent Pod. Um, man. Episode two, you know what I mean? It was, a, it was good sitting here talking about this, you know, Absolutely. diving deep into the, you know, the... Roots of where we, you know what I mean? Yeah, Talking man. about that all the way to uh, all the stuff that people don't get to hear. So um, let's keep this thing rolling, bro. Absolutely. So follow, like, subscribe, wherever you get your podcast. It's a wrap. We out of here.